Jessica, prosecutors say some of these women were held at gun and at knife point while they were attacked. Now a man has been charged who's facing the potential of life in prison if found guilty of these charges. 15 years after a series of rapes shook the city of Boston, Matthew Nilo, a Manhattan corporate attorney who grew up in the North End, appeared in Suffolk Superior Court charged with seven counts, including kidnapping and aggravated rape. How do you plead to those offenses? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Prosecutors today laid out the allegations from four separate incidents where three women reported being raped by a man who picked them up in a car and drove them to Terminal Street in Charlestown, and a fourth woman who reported being attacked by a man while she was out on a jog. According to prosecutors, last year Boston police revisited the investigation into these four unsolved assaults and employed forensic investigative genealogy in which investigators searched publicly accessible DNA databases and identified Nilo as a person of interest, placing him under surveillance earlier this year. FBI agents were able to obtain various utensils, utensils and drinking glasses they watched the defendant use at a corporate event. From one of the glasses, the Boston Police Crime Lab was able to obtain a male DNA profile, which is found to match the suspect profile from the three Terminal Street rapes. Nilo was arrested outside his New Jersey apartment last week and waived extradition to return to Massachusetts to face these rape charges. Anything you want to say about your fiance? His fiance had no comment outside of court, but his defense attorney, Joseph Cataldo, who represented Michelle Carter, spoke briefly with reporters. I do understand uh, that the procedures used by law enforcement are somewhat suspect. It seems that they obtain DNA evidence without ever obtaining a search warrant. If that turns out to be true, uh, that's an issue that will be pursued vigorously. Now, bail was set at $500,000 cash. It's unclear at this time whether or not Matthew Nilo will be posting that bail today. Reporting live outside Suffolk Superior Court, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.